When it comes to beat em ups, there are, or at least were, plenty to choose from growing up. But personally speaking, nothing ever matched the greatness of Streets of Rage. There's just something really satisfying about attacking a group of enemies, seamlessly throwing those dudes into other dudes, and there was just this nice impact the games had. It's a fun time. And the fact that they were able to replicate that formula perfectly in Streets of Rage 4 is nothing short of amazing. But before that game came to be, over the years there have been numerous attempts to try and revive the Streets of Rage series. And so today on Gaming Mysteries, we'll be talking about these failed attempts. To start things off, we have two Streets of Rage reboots intended as remakes of the original game, from developers Grin and Ruffian Games. Now, Grin's project was to be released on the PS3, PC, and Xbox 360, and not a ton of information is actually known about the project, other than the fact that development on the game was apparently halted because Grin kind of went bankrupt. Uh, we do have a few screenshots though, which don't look good at all, uh, in my humble opinion. And something is clearly wrong with Alex right here. He doesn't look good at all. And then we have Ruffian Games, which did a much, much better job. Uh, we even got a mock-up of the gameplay, with the game opening on a neat little reimagining of the first stage of the first game. But things for me at least, fall apart slightly when I notice that the game is no longer a 2D beat-em-up and instead, of course, a 3D one, which makes sense. You're trying to reboot the series, you're going to want to change things up. But that 2D style, they just perfected it so well that it's hard to imagine a 3D game doing it justice. That said, it doesn't look like the worst thing in the world by any means. I would have played it. And for early footage, I think this actually looks really good. Sadly though, much like Grin's attempt, nothing much more is actually known about the project other than the fact that it was turned down by Sega. Next we have what I think is a weird game. Uh, Streets of Rage Online. What does the online stand for? I don't know. Because God forbid we have a game that just has multiplayer slap online on the title. Was it going to be an MMO? We, we don't know these things and it confuses me. But Streets of Rage Online was to be a sequel to the Streets of Rage series from Bottle Rocket Entertainment for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Now the game was pitched during that special period of time where Sega was letting Western developers make new games based on some of their classic franchises. Remember Golden Axe Beast Rider? I bet you didn't. And because of the poor reception to that title, uh, this pitch uh, didn't really get that far, with Sega reconsidering a lot of things, mostly uh, not having Western developers ruin their franchises, and uh, so this project quickly and quietly faded away with all of us really not knowing anything about the project other than the fact that Alex and Blaze were probably going to be in the game as well as at least two enemies. And finally, just for fun, let's redux a little bit with Streets of Rage 4 for the Dreamcast. One of my favorite stories because of the dumb ending. Now. The game's origins can be traced back to a developer called Core Design, who had pitched Streets of Rage 4 for the Sega Saturn, but since they also wanted to put Streets of Rage 4 on other consoles, a move that Sega didn't agree with because it's incredibly stupid, uh, the request was denied and the game became Fighting Force instead, which was a fun beat-em-up in its own right. Years later, when the Dreamcast came about though, Sega once again tried their hands at Streets of Rage 4, producing a rough playable section. The game showed Burn, or Alex Jr. fighting, and this has to be a Blaze Alex hookup that I'll totally use in my awesome fanfiction. Uh, but yeah, it showed Burn doing combat in this new 3D Streets of Rage world. And it looks alright, it's 
actually really hard to gauge a uh, game's quality based on just looking at it, but it looks fine for the time and place. Uh, promising, if nothing else. Uh, and the game even came with a brand new first person mechanic, which is pretty interesting and unheard of for this style of game, frankly. Early art shows us that alongside Burn, Aerie, a shinobi was to show up, and these two dudes, who I do not know, sadly. They could be kids of other characters, but I, I have no idea. Still, though, so far, so good. I sure hope nothing horrible happens. Oh, wait, because as the story goes, Sega of America was completely unaware of the series' legacy and said no to the whole idea of the game based on its genre alone as during the 90s, uh, both beat-em-ups and fighters had this uh, sad decline where it seemed like they just weren't important and no one wanted to play them for like 15-ish years, which was stupid. I wanted to play them and still did. There just wasn't as many. Uh, but yeah, so... Go to hell, Sega of America. However... Streets of Rage 4 would get the last laugh as the Dreamcast imploded due to a lack of copyright protection. So take that. But those were cancelled Streets of Rage games. While it's always a shame to lose media, everything happens for a reason occasionally sometimes. And I think that things worked out for the best in this case. As actual Streets of Rage 4 is fire. And now all we have to do is wait for Sega to ruin this all somehow. Like add NFTs or turn them into a live service game. Oh, that's not, that's Square Enix. I'm sorry, wrong company. This has been Gaming Mysteries, and thank you for watching. Hello, everyone. Welcome, one and all, to that magical time of the year slash video that we simply call End Slate. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the Gaming Mysteries on Cancelled Streets of Rage games, plus the uh, little redux of Streets of Rage 4 I snuck in there. Um, you know, I, I have social media stuff. If, if you know, you want to follow me on Twitter, if you want to uh, support um, my videos and streaming, I have a Patreon. But not, no one cares about social media stuff except me, which is why I'm here to give some mad thank yous so let me just throw this out here you know oops i just hit a button and ruined everything thank you maji and chandler parish thank you mckella rage magic carp rabbit skinny 720 deshaun uh shadow wolf um young silver dk best common rider mama aki uh, Bradley Harder, Clodek, come watch my Twitch streams. I didn't say that. That's the name of the individual. Thank you, for man uh, Fernando. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, for man uh, Fernando Silva. Uh, thank you, Glad Goku. Hey, it's Brad. Kenpachi Ramasama, Lily Starflame, Michael Holder the second, Nikki Layman, Nolan, Cedars PhD, Static Peaches. The Epi Man, still kind of wish that was the Pie Man. Euk, uh, Video Gummy, Purin. It's also Jigglypuff. Uh, thank you, a pickle. Couldn't have done this without pickles. Oh, I don't like pickles, to be honest. They put them on burgers. And... Uh, anyway, but I like you. Uh, thank you, Anal Bat. I like you all. Uh, the... Thank you, Andrew Silverman, uh, Andy Devora, and Evil Ghost. Oh! It's almost Evil Ghost season. Uh, thank you, Angel Bane, Astro, Antonio, uh, Butter Pecan. Now I'm hungry. Uh, Captain Loser. I feel like a Captain Loser now. Uh, David Martinez, Derek Chapman, Diz. Uh, sorry, De Diz, aka Is That So? Uh, Dylan Swenson, Efri684, uh, Fading Novelty Mug. That's a good name. <laughs> sorry. Uh, Thank you, Joe Mortf uh, Morfolio, John Mayer, Joseph Almadover, uh, Kami Moon, 
uh, Keitaro, Lauren, Nelson, Lenny Barks, Link the Eight, Orfano, the Adoptable, someone adopt them! Um, painful Choice, uh, thank you, let's see, uh, Pingus Carl, I believe is how that says, thank you, Quack, um, thank you, Rad R, uh, River Casey, uh, R Pie Spies, Sarah Salmon, Color <laughs> Yuri went an idiot. Thank you, Scarlet Robin. I uh, hope you're well. Uh, thank you, Scott Labar, uh, Sean Cartar, uh, Shillick, Slickster, Max Tastic, Ka. Uh, thank you, SMK, Snooper, Soft Shell, the class changing taco. I like to think that they're swords, men, and they use like a like a double-handed broad. It's a guts thing. Um, thank you, Stormstrider and the Storm Household. Thank you, the Wills and the Busco. Die, die, die. Uh, the Club Rocker, the R9, and RE4 still kicking it. If it's not good in the remake, it's riot. Uh, thank you, Tim Klomp, uh, Trevor Marquez. Uh, Vispire, Whitman, Zachary Alexander, Ludwig, Finn the Humid, uh, John Paul Hoare, Ragnar the Green, leader of the Discord. Thank you very much. Uh, and yeah, th thank you everyone uh, who supports me on Patreon. I quite literally could not do this, or, or, or I, yeah, uh, without you all. I'm, I'm nothing. Now, I'm, I'm going to casually check over on this recording, see how long this has been going on for. Uh, oh, about almost five minutes. Okay, well, I'm going to get shit for that, but I don't care. I love you all. Uh, <laughs> see you next time on Yuri of Wind Takes Up Too Much Time at the end of his videos. Yeah!